Okay, this is Adam Lane with Pocket Now, and we're going to take a look at Opera 9.5 Mobile Beta. First off, this is on the HTC Titan 2, and I have the keyboard slid out. One thing I really like about Windows Mobile is that you can control everything with the keyboard. So here I go, I'm just going to press Start, Programs, and then letter O for Opera. And we're launching Opera. Now, right away, you notice some problems. There's no soft key menus here, so if I press my hardware soft key button, nothing happens. Left and right, nothing happens. Start menu still works, that's good. OK button will work. Uh, if I use my arrows, I can go to different links, but can't really zoom out or access any of the menu's items. Can't access the address bar either. Can't access the favorites. So I'm going to have to look for my stylus or I can use my finger. But the uh, problem with using the finger, I mean, this is covering 20 or 30 percent of the screen right now. Let's try it anyway. This is a really excellent feature. See, as I'm typing, it predicts what website I'm typing based on sites that I've been in the past. So I can just click that. This is on a Wi-Fi connection. Right now I have the fit to screen option turned on, so all the everything is jumbled together. You actually have to access this button right there to, to access the options. It's not labeled or anything, so it's kind of hard to understand. If I turn off fit to screen, maybe. my stylus. It's going to load like it would on the desktop. It's all the way zoomed in right now. Double tapping zooms out. There's no way of knowing how to do that. Unless there's a help file somewhere, I don't know. And double tapping again zooms in. But as you can see, the type doesn't rag, so it's pretty useless. I have to scroll all the way over here to read that line, and then scroll all the way back over here to read that line. Not so great. But I guess it's good that you can see the whole screen. Now this has automatic full screen mode on, so if I want to access other stuff, I have to press some kind of button. And there's the address bar. Now none of these buttons down below are accessible from the keyboard, so you're going to have to use your finger or, or a stylus. This one shows separate tabs, or windows, whatever. Do a new tab, and then we can type something else. mobile.live.com doesn't actually go to the mobile site so we can't really do much there Google does go to the mobile site and that actually works pretty well very nice there's no zooming though, because it's already zoomed. And there's no scroll bar, so you can't really jump all the way down to the bottom. You have to scroll like this, and it's pretty tedious. This button, we don't know what that does. 
lots of unlabeled icons. We can't read them. Beginners aren't going to understand them. Difficult to learn. This button, I guess, does back. And here you see two tabs are now open. The house, I guess, would go home. And home is the opera page. What else do we have in here? Transfers. Nothing here, I guess. Don't know what that does. It's pretty nice history. Apparently you have to double tap those. And apparently you have to double tap this too. So that's pretty nice. Another nice feature is you got the tap and hold menu. And you can send the image or save the image. That's excellent. I cannot select text, however. I would have to save the page, I guess. Oh, here we go. Text selection on. Beautiful. selection off. Where is that? It would be nice if all of these options were accessible with the keyboard, but I guess Opera is mostly designed for touchscreen devices only, so you don't have to use your finger or stylus. Another thing I don't like is that this is all black, whereas my theme would be nice blue. Let's look at the settings again. You can change your home page there. Change some display options there. Cookies password management. Very nice. Now there's a check mark and an X at the bottom. It would have been nice if those were words that people can read, because I'd rather have an OK. And the hardware buttons normally associated with those areas of the screen don't actually activate those functions, so could be better. And that's it.